Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Sally Cat Plays Iconoclasts. With Skiz. So, we are by Mother on the East End of the Woods. Is there something to find here? There totally is. Now, I think this only appears when you've gotten all four of those clues. Yeah, which told us Mother by East Woods. Mm -hmm. So, we end up getting to this spot. So, in case you have forgotten. Yeah. And some rather unhappy kids gave us those. Yes. Well, not that they were awake or anything. Mm. But this leads us to one of the optional bosses in the game, mm -hmm. which is named Mother's Corners, which is the coolest name for those kinds of hat wearing people. Indeed. Stop crying! Mother needs you to be brave, okay? Please don't hurt me. Everything has gone a bit wrong, child. Yes, we need to start over. You've been tainted by the outside, and Mother cannot have you seen. Yes, and Mother will have your souls reborn, as we start all of this over. Won't she? Of course she will! This is what Mother wants! Nothing can be known! We can do it all again! Stop the steal! Mother should see it fit to return to us if all is back in order! She will! She will! This is all just a tiny, 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 tiny hitch in our fate. Just a mistake. No! Murderer! You ruined everything! Everything we ever loved, it's gone! We'll take it back. Let me cut her apart. If we eviscerate you, we can truly rebuild! Mother, give me strength. Tear your skin. Cut open your ribs. We will succeed this time. Our love is eternal. Smash it under my heel. Yeah, so they're a little bit pissed at having their cult basically dealt with. Oh, nuts. I hate that attack. So, this is my favorite theme in the whole game. And we have made the uh. music a little louder to deal with it. But it is a nasty boss fight. Yep. It keeps switching between the two of them. Uh, they have fairly chaotic patterns. And uh, uh. It, it takes some work. Uh, we've actually done a good bit of off-screen practice to uh, learn these people. Nuts. And Sally Cat here has definitely gotten a lot better at it, but uh, this may not be a first attempt kind of thing. Thank you, sweetie. Yeah. So there's the one attack that's done by the blue aura oh, one that you have to wrench, but mostly they've got some tumbles, they've got some throwing knives. Personally, one of my least favorite attacks is the one that just went out, where there is a, a blue explosion. Actually, in preparation for this between saves, um, Sally Cat did change her three tweaks to all be iron hearts. Yep. Which uh, does make this a little better. Oh, this one. Ooh, we're finally at this point where they do the combo attack. It is a giant explosion. It also creates ground flames. Which can be really annoying if you jump and land on one. Yeah. At least one plus side here is that when you get in a good rhythm and you earn a lot of your tweaks back... Oh, this is going to be bad. Yeah, you couldn't dodge it there. You can rebuild the iron hearts and uh, each iron heart does uh, take one damage from you. Or saves you from a shot of damage. Yes. <clears throat> We're down to last life bar, and things just sort of go nuts, and you might just want to shoot as fast as you can. Because they both go active ah, at the same crap. time. crap! Yeah, this is the spaghetti part of the fight. Yeah. Just, uh... I would just get some firing going. Oh, close! That might have been one of my best runs so far. Yeah, no, that was really solid. Yeah, so I can try this a couple more times. If necessary, I'm either switching to relaxed mode, or I'm bringing Skiz in. Yeah, but let's uh, let's give it another go at least on here. I thought that was good. You just, uh, you need to not stop getting caught by the uh, blue flame explosions as much. I also need to get better at dodging those sword attacks. The sword ones are weird. My least favorite one is when the red, red hue... Um, lands from her tumbles and then somersaults right at you. Good start. Well, that was a good start for a yeah. sec there. It's okay. You're doing. That's fine. Oops. Overheated my gun. 
Yeah. Yeah, it just takes a lot of practice and observation with this boss in particular. Like, this is... This is genuinely hard platformer boss. And the fact that it's got uh, four life bars doesn't help. Oh, that was rude. Yeah. You have to assume that the, the three tumbles are going to go right to your position. Yeah. Ooh, got an iron heart back. Yeah, Ow. but that's a lot. And immediately lost you're it. You're tanking a lot of damage here. Yeah, if they're charging you, you want to go at them, actually. Yeah. yeah, blue will go to my current position, but she won't track me like red. Yeah. Might just be safe to do, like, one shot per, per landing from a jump, so that you have enough time to react yeah. to stuff. Ah, crap. Yeah, this was not as good a second attempt, but oh well. Yeah, this fight takes a lot of practice to get good at, and I wouldn't call myself good quite yet. Let's have another shot, though. Thing was, you, you started taking a whole lot of damage from the rushes in that last attempt. Okay. Mean? Oh, yeah. That was from some free hits. Wrench. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Also, to be fair, um, I do have more experience at this game than Sally Cat does, but it's still a hard fight. Like, I remember the first time I ever did this, it took me probably 40-something minutes worth of attempts, and... Even now, when I was giving this a shot, it took me something like four or five tries to finally get it. Mm -hmm. And not only this game, Skiz is a lot more experienced with platformers in general than I am. Oh. Yeah, even though Sally Cat is much more the open-ended uh, RPG type, especially the stuff you probably follow her for on this channel. Yeet. But you know what? It's fun to try something a little different. I did introduce her to this game. And it's a, it's a platformer with personality. Yes. No, I do like a good platformer sometimes. Also very female-dominated. Howie. Yeah. One trick I did discover over this fight, which... There you go, that's going to be a... Um, is that the blue flame thing oh, no. only shows up when they jump to the edge of the wall and then bounce back from it. Which is important because the landing... If they land from it and you're on the ground, you get stunned. Yeet. Nice. The team attack actually oh, is good dodge. once you notice it coming, because it's usually an opportunity to score some free shots on the both of them. Yes. Good. You're getting really good at dodging the uh, flames that come out of that, too. Excellent. <clears throat> oh, mess her up. That's good positioning. Yes. Yes. <clears throat> this is awesome. Come on. Uh, okay. Go ham. You're, you had two iron hearts fully rebuilt a bit ago. And that is it. Oh, my gosh. Yes. For the record, everybody, this is Sally Cat's first time actually beating this on normal difficulty. Yes! Mother. Mother, please. And we're just going to fall off the edge now. Hoo-ha! And I cannot interact with this girl. She's, They're all pretty scarred at this point. She's got to be pretty shell-shocked, yeah. So, mm, I wish I could pat your head. Yeah, it's... They're probably dead, the ones that are not really waking up. Yeah. But it's hard to say. But your reward for this? Tweak schematic ascend. Yeah, so now you can build some stuff. And isn't there a crafting table right in this vicinity anyway? 
Because we want to make that. I don't know. So I'm going to save and also rearrange my tweaks. Yes. That's a good idea. I don't know. Do I want... I would still put on Fleetfoot because we're still yeah. running around doing errands. Yeah. Very good job. <sighs> and there may be some background cat, too. Yes, if you hear, if you heard the chirp just now, that was cat. So okay. there's not a tweak crafting table super close to here. No, it's in the center area. Um, it actually might make sense to go back to Block Rock and find the crafting table there. That's what I'm thinking. Um, we are thinking of doing another errand of sorts out in the Block Rock area anyway. <laughs> Forgot I could just kill that ghost. Yeah. Congrats, though. That was a, that was a very good last attempt. You... Yes. You got in a really good health position for that final charge. I am charge. so pleased we got that on video. Yeah. It's a special gaming experience when you finally pull off something that you really had to work hard for. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna say that this was probably, what, two, three hours of attempts on your own? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so if there's a... Yeah, the crafting table's way over on the other end. But yeah, but we're sort we of going go there anyway. We want to go that way anyway. You just don't want to fall into the crater. Right. We are going there, we promise. But this is turning a little bit into a 100% run. Yep. And that means showing you 100%. So we're not going to the point of no return endgame just yet. Uh, yeah, so you can jump on those blocks in the middle of the air. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Go right, go right. Uh, mm -hmm. end up. Yeah, I, I was going to say I have to go up rather than straight right from here. I didn't remember if there was a tunnel straight to the right, it's but I think it's secret. just a dead end. Yeah. Ha ha, who's oozing now? Yep, we already saw that kid. We got one of the clues. Yeah, mm, rest in peace. Yep. Not to mention, things look particularly more dire. Like, you get very clear view of the broken moon in the back and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm and pretty the, sure we've been able to see the broken moon before. And but... the savey orb is there. Yeah. So... I am chuckling a little bit at this because I also watch things related to uh, Super Mario World <laughs> and its associated fan games. And uh, occasionally you can collect an orb to finish a stage. And there got to be a little bit of a tradition of people going, Orb! When it's all done. I was going to say, oh no, we're not at 100% on this game, but of course there's a big question mark in the corner there. Uh, well, wait, there shouldn't be any crafting material still left, I thought. Um, I think we've already got all the crafting materials. The very end stage of the game is merely about um, going through boss fights and stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can pull up the guide in a bit if we need to. Yeah, but let's go check out the crafting table. You know what? While I'm here, I kind of want to see if Pontus' mom is still around and will talk to us. That's true. The eternal cudger. <laughs> I'm not speaking to you. That's fair. Yep. Nothing more on that. So, crafting tables in the house. Oh, of course. Yeah, here we go. Hey there, Chemical Contra. Hello there, vigorous young Robin. Yeah, so they don't say anything new. It's like they didn't mm -hmm. know that the Chemical Contra got found out. So we can make stuff like Tool Assist, Fleet Foot, Spindle. Oh, cool, cool down Stun and Cool Down Bomb, bomb Shock. Yes. Yeah, no, those are actually pretty neat. I would personally put on... I would actually make cooldown stun, but let's move down for a bit. What's Wavy Beam? Usurper attack... Ooh. Passes through walls. Actually sort of nice. That Even might that. have... That didn't make Mother's Corners any easier. Well, no, there because there were no walls. walls in the way. But still. You also have to have the thing equipped. Mm -hmm. Featherweight, however, that's the thing we just got from Mother's Corners. Neat. So, basically, double jump. Yes. And there were certain materials that the game was totally intending that you have to have featherweight to get. Ah. We just cheesed them with stun gun jumps. He. Uh, we've got just enough ivory oils to craft cooldowns. We're going to basically craft everything to get 100%, so let's go make them both. All right. Uh. Oh, couple fleet foots. Um, well, those require ivory oil that we don't have. Oh, well, I have a fleet foot. Right, right, but if you want to get that little steam achievement, you actually have to build everything, <laughs> whether or not you plan to use it. Right. Dad, this isn't helpful. Can I 
I get up on the community center from here? Not quite. Um, you can with a gun jump, I think. It's true. Also, if you want, go go to the save statue for a sec. Let's switch out your iron heart for a second with the thing we just made, the featherweight. And now, why don't you go back to that community center and let's show that we can jump on okay. it. Okay. Also, I remember the animation being sort of amusing. So there you go. And there was definitely some stuff in the game they wanted you to do that. You know what? Even for more fun, why don't you do a stun jump? A stun jump? Yeah, so go to the right here so you don't jump into the freaking thorns. Right. But here, charge up your gun. And now we're going to do a double jump and shoot it at the top. <laughs> oh, they don't let you get a triple jump off it. Worth a try. Oh, I'm going to try it a little bit more. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work if it didn't work on that. You can do a side bounce thing like that. Yeah. Oops. I also think Featherweight yeah. ends up actually giving you a little bit more distance than the stun jump does anyway. Yeah, I think you're right. But anyway, we want to go rightward. Mm -hmm. We want to go for a swim. So, so we are in the glass straight. And we've never really done much of anything with this. Yeah, you might not be able to see the f such fine detail here, but... There's stuff below us on the map that we can't, can get to. Yeah. And I think this is basically the last area we didn't really explore. Now's a good time. Mm-hmm. Hello, crafting material. Now, granted, we do have the issue of oxygen. Right. But there are definitely a couple materials that can be obtained at this higher level, where you're not really at risk of drowning. Also, I wonder if your uh, double jump makes it easier to get out of the water. <laughs> ah, so if we want to uh, rearrange tweaks any, there's yes. a save statue right No, there. that is that is a very convenient save statue. I believe you can get one thing down here. Not quite there, maybe more on the right side. Mm -hmm. We're also just adding onto the map, as it turns out anyway. I'm pretty sure there's something under here. Caution symbol. They do warn you. No, no, you're you're no, in. No, we're deep. not coming here without some different tweaks. Yeah, let's let's back out. Um, in fact, want to take a save and we'll regroup for a bit. I yeah, think I we think got so. something. I think we got something pretty cool coming up, and that may be better saved for another episode. Oh, hello. Because Staff of Lucretia. Or Letitia. Letitia. Right. Hmm. Very interesting. Yeah. So yeah. She's basically told you at this point you know the story. We'll see you in a minute. So hey, you know how we're working towards 100% item collection? Turns out we missed one. Yep, so we are backtracking a little bit to get the last uh, tweak material we didn't get in Block Rock. It's sort of sneaky. If we can find it. Yeah, so, uh, I believe there is something a little suspicious about the floor there. You're supposed to have the tweak called Secret Equipped. But, um, that right there, under that platform, right here? I believe you do a Stompy Stomp. Or just maybe a little over, perhaps? Yeah, I'm not finding it so far. But... Now that you mention it, I do see... Oh, got it. There it is. <laughs> yeah, I saw just a little bit of uh, some edge pixels. Of red? Yeah. Oh, what? Gotta just be a little bit quicker. Oh. Yeah, that, that drains quickly. Oh, c come on. Yeah, I think you do have to be electrically charged as well. At least that'll make it easier. Got Good it. timing! Yay! Yay, now let's hit our map screen. 91%! Oh, so there is something else we still don't have. That is the item we don't have. Okay, we, I just see it on the map now. Alright. If I can just jump in a bit here. Mm-hmm. 
We're having some fun occasionally just switching up which person takes stuff. Oh, huh. check it out. That uh, comes out in a different spot. Neat. I remember seeing that block a while ago, and you wonder what in the world is that doing there. <laughs> Also, while we're at it, I did put on the Dodger tweak to make this a little faster for uh, some of our travel. Mm -hmm. It's uh, going yeah, the that's wrong not, way. Yeah, that's not going to be useful. Let's just still stomp this guy for good measure. <laughs> for making this annoying on us. Yes. And jumping up ladders. Very, very physically unreasonable but definitely faster in video games. And still avoiding the pit with deadly gas. Mm-hmm. Or is that what this is? No. No. It's not possible to destroy it with bombs at that location. Is there maybe a box off screen we can use Surper Shot? Darn, I was hoping that was it. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, hi. hi. <laughs> when it said above the mother note, it really meant right above the mother note. Above the mother note is a mother load. Yes. So ivory oil. And if we check the map now, now it says we've gotten everything in block rock. Huzzah. And I think we've gotten 100% in every other zone we've done except for the glass straight. Right. So we're going to get our way over to glass straight and uh, we'll come right back when we get there. Mm-hmm. We'll see you next time, folks.